Happy Monday. We are, we're just hanging out. <laughs> we're just hanging out. Jacob just left to go give a presentation at his high school for the Marine Corps. So that's really cool. I painted my nails this morning, got rid of the black and did something to kind of match the shirt. And so I'm waiting on those to dry and then I'm going to do a little bit of homeschool house cleaning the norm. Not yet, we need some breakfast. We have um, quite the mess in the house. The kids have really done a number. So I really need to get some work done today. Um, so of course I'll bring you guys along. Thanks for being here for Vlogtober. Um, I need to plan and set out some meat for dinner. Um, what else am I gonna do today? Um, I'm thinking of taking today to do a lot of cleaning because we don't have our homeschool community tomorrow. And that gives us a free day this week. So I was thinking of taking today um, pretty much off of homeschool and maybe have them do some of their basics like language arts and math and then spend the rest of the day sort of getting the house back in order because it's got some problems. Um, I may just give you a quick little rundown of just how bad it is because it's gotten pretty, it's amazing, truly it's amazing how quick this house can go downhill. <laughs> If I'm not constantly cleaning, like constantly, it turns like this. No, 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 no. Don't be throwing the ball in the house. So I'm gonna show you guys the mess that we're dealing with. Um, this is just kind of like, not terrible. It's just some basic tidying that needs to happen in here. Um, there is like all this trash right here that needs to go to the trash cans, but both of our trash cans are full. So I'm probably gonna have to have Jimmy take that to the dump. And then um, I'll just walk you guys through here. Like, like that's a nice shoe on the train table. I don't know why. Um, I try to keep that table, like by having it uh, set with play settings, people kind of avoid this table. So it's really, it stays really nice. Um, Maddie will um, cut that for him. So we have the ironing board Jacob used for his uh, uniform. So I need to get that put away. Need to get the kitchen kind of cleaned up. As you can see, random, random. <laughs> So that's basically the downstairs. Um, and the upstairs is pretty clean, except for Maddie's room. Maddie's room is trashed. <sighs> yeah, we're working on that, on that trait. The girl doesn't clean, like at all. I need to deal with the screamer. So today for breakfast, I think I'm going to have a smoothie. I picked up some things to, to make my smoothies even more nutritious. So I have these. I love these. These are the Dole smoothie packs. Let me show you guys. Um, all right, so these are, there are five pre-portioned eight ounce bags in here. So this is the strawberry and banana. And I'm going to put a little bit of yogurt. And then I have, I bought chia seeds. And I bought some black seed. And then I bought this um, Super Greens powder. This has wheatgrass, kale, moringa, and spirulina. And I think that will just really take it to the next level. So I'll put like a teaspoon or so in that of this in that. I think that's probably, yeah, that's what the serving size. One teaspoon, yes. Okay, so that's the plan to add just a little bit. Now this is whole flaxseed. I don't think I meant to get whole flaxseed. But, uh, okay. I should probably grind this up. Yeah. He dies. He dies. I should use my coffee grinder for this, but it is in the camper. So, I may pass on the flaxseed. We did. That's chia seeds. Yeah. 
Those are healthy for you. Did you know that? Yeah, this is really, really healthy. No, I like it. You don't like that? I, uh, I like it. It's going to be so healthy for the smoothie. No, I like, I like that. I like that. Maybe I'll make one. I'll make one for the kids probably. I like and then I'll make one for me. I like that. Sound good? <laughs> I like that. You don't want to try it? Oh, no. Too gross? All right, you guys. Here's my smoothie. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it actually tastes amazing. This definitely changes the color, but it doesn't really change the guys, taste. Guys, believe tastes, her, it's really good. It's really good, it's really good. I just did the, um, everything that I showed you guys, added a little bit of milk and orange juice, just a splash to kind of thin it down. And that is all, very yummy. How do you do that? All right, so while I sip on my smoothie, I'm gonna clean this kitchen up. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some AirPods in and either listen to an audiobook or a YouTube video or something like that. And once the kids are through eating, I'm gonna have them get started on picking up and tidying up the living room and the main living areas here. So that's the plan. And I got three more, but I can't find them. So if you see them anywhere in a video, please tell me in the comments.
All right, guys, here is lunch. These are Brussels sprouts, some jasmine rice, and I just put some butter and some Cajun seasoning. And then I made myself a little salad with tomato, fresh mozzarella, some lemon juice, olive oil, some basil, salt and pepper. And that is what I'm having for lunch. Hi, you guys. So we just finished lunch, and then Jacob got back, so we've been chatting with him and chatting with Jimmy because he came home. But I did just finish mopping the floors. So they are looking super clean and wet, but I'm gonna tiptoe. Um, the bathroom is super clean. And I put some basil, wax, uh, those wax cubes in there to make it smell really yummy. So it is nice and clean in here. And then, so I mopped in here. I vacuumed in the schoolroom. The kids are always in here. So this room is never going to be like perfectly clean, but that's okay. They're using it and that is a-okay with me. Um, and then... Let's see. So the kitchen is, well, this is about the way the kitchen stays because everybody's always in the kitchen. I just need to put away some of the cleaning supplies and Jimmy came home and made some lunch. So um, I'm pretty happy with the way the house is coming. I have not made it to my bedroom because the baby is asleep in there, but I was able to get all the floor, floors nice and clean, mopped in here, vacuumed in here, and um, I could probably stand to kind of dust and declutter the bookshelves in here, but I don't think I'm going to right now. I think before the baby wakes up, I'm probably just going to sit down for a few minutes, get maybe a chapter or two read in my book, because that's like the only time during the day that I get to do any reading is when he's asleep. So I might try to get a little reading done. And what else can I tell you? Um, the plan, I guess, is to finish cleaning the bedroom and master bathroom when the baby gets up, if I end up having enough time. But I feel really good about the progress. It looks a lot better than it did this morning. So that's good. The kids, Maddie and Solomon, are outside playing. And yeah, so I'm gonna take advantage of this quiet house. Never happens. It's bliss, <laughs> but yeah, um, this book, I talked about it before, but the imaginary friend book, it's like a page turner. It is so creepy <laughs> and it's a psychological horror, not what I would typically read. And there is some language that bugs me in here, but Overall, the plot is really interesting. So I'm just trying to figure out what, where is this going? So I'm gonna keep reading that and it's gonna take me a while. I think I'll finish it by the end of the month, but my oh my, a 700 page book. So I have like big goals to get this read in a like short amount of time. Um, but you know, with like all the kids in the house and as busy as we are with homeschool and everything, I don't get as much reading done as people who have no kids, <laughs> obviously. But I'm gonna sneak in some time here real quick. Jacob. <laughs> He's sleepy. I'm going to have to get you in your uniform on here. <laughs> so, they're taking a nap and 
I'm gonna make some food. Um, I kind of felt like making something sweet for dessert first. So I found this recipe for like a pumpkin, what's it called? A pecan streusel topped pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna get busy making that. This is from farberware.com. I will link it down below. And I have all my ingredients here ready to go. Got my pie crust. Let me turn the brightness down a little so you guys might be able to see. All right, so I have the pie crust, some four tablespoons of butter chopped up, three eggs, sweetened condensed milk, third of a cup of flour, third of a cup brown sugar, third of a cup old fashioned oats, third of a cup of um, pecan, chopped pecans. Then we have a 15 ounce pumpkin. Then we've got ginger, nutmeg, cloves, salt. We have our cinnamon here and some vanilla extract. I think that's it. And this is what's gonna go into the pumpkin pie. So here we go. All right, you guys, I was gonna show you how to make the pie, but the kids were running out now, and then Samuel ran outside, so I just made it, and I'll link the recipe, but I wanted to show you. I just put it in the oven, and I don't know, can you guys see that? There it is. And it is gonna cook for about 40 minutes. So I knew I needed to also make dinner, so I decided to, I had some beef thawing, so I decided to go ahead and cook up some ground beef with some onion, and I'm dicing up three potatoes. I pulled out some tomato sauce. I'm gonna do some minced garlic, some salt, um, and some frozen um, mixed vegetables and some beef broth um, and make a vegetable beef soup. So hopefully it will be very yummy, but I was trying to think of something different that we could have that would just fit the mood. So, this sounded good to me. So I'm gonna continue browning this beef and go ahead and mince up some garlic. Alrighty, I have got my vegetable beef boiling away. Probably needs to go be turned down just a little bit. So I have two pounds of beef, the onion, whole onion, two cloves of garlic, teaspoon of salt, I've got three potatoes diced, 28 ounce of tomato sauce, and four cups of beef broth, and a teaspoon of basil and a teaspoon of oregano. And then I'm gonna add in this whole package of mixed vegetables um, once the potatoes get a little more cooked. And then we're just gonna simmer all of that. And then I had to lay a little piece of foil over my pie. It was getting a little dark, but it only has couple minutes left and I did use a recipe for the vegetable beef soup it is from fitmamarealfood.com I'll try to remember to link that for you guys um, yeah let me save it real quick and I don't think I've tried this one before so um, I'm just gonna give it a try and hopefully it turns out really good so it is an easy meal we're just having some canned biscuits with our soup. So everything's just about done, thank goodness. You guys, this pie, I hope you guys can see that consistency is amazing. It truly is a keeper. So this recipe is definitely one you'll want to visit and save, as well as this soup. It was so good. So take my word for it. Go to the websites and save these recipes. You will not regret it, I promise. Ooh, there's a fruit fly that drives me crazy. So, <clears throat> Jimmy ended up not taking Jacob back. 
Gavin actually got off work early and he is taking Jacob back to Cherry Point. So um, I'm grateful, but I always worry when my boys are on the road. So I'm just praying for safety. But that means um, Jimmy was able to run to the grocery store for some waters and some ice cream to have with the pie. And I'm gonna clean up from dinner and get little ones in the bed. It is about 7.30. So I'm going to sign off because I think this has been a long video. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining us for Vlogtober. And if you're new here, please subscribe if you'd like to. Leave us a comment and a thumbs up. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.